Hello, I am back again with a new lesson. As usual, first I will give you the reference. So we are back with our history book, Unit 5, Chapter 12. We were doing the age of Jackson and we were on Lesson 1. That is Jacksonian Democracy and State Rights. And it is on page 394. 394. Okay, so in the last lesson, you learn about Jackson's success in the election. And today, we are going to cover a few more topics. Like, first, we will cover a spoil system. So, you should know what was the spoil system. Then, state rights, tariff of abomination. Tariff is basically, it is like a tax. And doctrine of nullification. So, in, inshallah, we are going to cover these topics today. Okay, so here we begin with spoil system. What was spoil system? So we ended like uh, Jackson's inauguration began a new political era, and in his campaign he had promised to reform government. That was his promise. So he started by replacing many government officials with his supporters, and this practice of giving government jobs to political backers became known as the spoil system so now you understand actually he promised his uh, friends his followers that he will give them the job so he fulfilled his promise and this system of like the practice of giving uh, government jobs to political backers became known as the spoil system and for you i try to simplify it in more uh, simple word like what is spoil system if uh, if I ask you what is spoil system so in a simple word you can say it is a system in which incoming political parties throw out former government workers and replace them with their own friends okay so next we will talk about states right at the time of Jackson's inauguration the country was being pulled apart by conflicts especially the West disputed three major economic issues so here we I wrote for you so the first uh, conflict was the sale of public lands here the sale of public land in the West second was federal spending on internal improvement such as uh, roads and canals and the third was rising tariffs okay so this uh, is, this is something very important you should uh, know the issue of rising, uh, the issue of tariffs fueled the fire of a national debate. And that debate was over the balance of power between the federal and the state government. Some supported a strong federal government and others defended state rights or the rights of the state to make decisions without interfering from the federal government. Okay, so next we will talk about tariff of abominations. So what was tariff of abomination? Everything is written in your books and you can read them in great detail once I will cover up. So uh, we were talking about tariff of abominations. In 1828, Congress passed a bill that, si that significantly raised tariffs on raw materials and manufactured goods. Southerns hated the tariff and called it tariff of abomination so now you come to know what was tariff of abom uh, abomination the southern people they just dislike this tariff this tax they, which the government uh, fixed on uh, raw materials and uh, manufacturing goods so they hate it so uh, they the, the, uh, the southerns hated the tariff and they called it tariff of abomination so this uh, name comes by the Southern people because they hate it so they give it the name of tariff of abomination and abomination is a hateful thing next we will talk about uh, doctrine of nullification so what was doctrine of nullification the tariff of abomination hit South Carolina okay South Carolina because the state economy was in a slum John Colhorn John C. Colhoun, he was the Jackson's vice president. He sympathized with the South uh, people because he was one himself. So he wanted, a he wanted to find a way to keep South uh, Southern people from uh, leaving the Union. So he uh, gave a solution and his solution was the doctrine of nullification. 
so the solution given by john c calhoun is known as doc doctrine of nullification and in uh, in this solution he said that uh, state had the right to nullify or reject a federal law okay what he said a state had the right to nullify or reject a federal law that it considered unconstitutional and he believed that congress had no right to impose a tariff that favored one section of the country over another so this is how he uh, john c calhoun uh, gave the final solution between the southern people because they hated and they they felt hurt so he at the end he gave a solution and he said that uh, no right to be imposed uh, uh, the congress has no right to impose a tariff that favored one section of the country over another and then we will talk about so this was uh, doctrine of nullification doctrine of nullification and now in, at the same time we will also discuss about jackson's ran for re-election in 1823 so what happened uh, we will also see the jackson uh, opinion about this uh, uh, doctrine of nullification so although jackson supported states right uh, but he did not believe that the states should nullify federal laws so jackson is going to uh, we i am going to share the opinion of jackson about states right so he he be, he did not believe that the state sh uh, state should nullify federal law so uh, jackson ran for re-election in 1823 and after uh, and he won uh, those elections so after he won he made it clear that he would use force to see the federal laws were obeyed what he will do he will use a force to see the federal laws were obeyed and the union preserved and in in the senate henry clay came forward with a compromise tariff and that tariff is known uh, uh, that uh, tariff is uh, promised in 1833 Congress quickly passed the bill and the crisis ended. So this was uh, how the nullification crisis ended. And lastly, the most important thing for all of you, it's not only me going to read everything for you. You are supposed to read everything by yourself. So now you have to open up your books and you have to go through this chapter. So now it's your time. It's more about you because it's your learning days. so it's not like that every time i am going to read for you but you have to do read everything what uh, about the uh, tariff of abomination doctrine of nullification again you just go through it go through it in detail and then i have an activity for you uh, you have to write down this is your task for today what you have to do once when you will memorize the topics if you i'm giving you few topics you have to write for example i'm i'm giving you an example like explain the importance of uh, andrew jackson so you will uh, write three four lines about andrew jackson then uh, the importance of john quincy adams and then a uh, little bit about spoil system what whatever you have understood about spoil system write it down on a paper and tariff of abominations and lastly doctrine of nullification and of course uh, i told you how this uh, nullification crisis ended so write something about that as well so i hope you have uh, enjoyed so take care see you again